Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm looking at the new Hydrovid software by Walt Bayless. Now, I actually did an interview with Walt where he showed us a demo of the product, we talked about the product, and I asked him a few questions. Unfortunately, though, I'm not very good at interviews yet, and I must have messed up the recording somehow because the audio in the interview is just terrible. Uh, it's so bad I didn't even want to watch it myself. So I'm not going to show the interview, but I am going to talk about some of the things that Walt explained to me and go over some of the questions that I had asked him and his answers. So before we dive into that too much, though, I want to talk about exactly what HydroVids is. Well, HydroVids is a desktop software that is designed for video marketing. What it's designed to do is allow you to get your video out as much as possible in as many locations as possible. And when you think about it, this really makes sense. I mean, if I'm going to make a, a, a review video or I'm going to make a demo video of something and I'm going to hope to try to get an affiliate commission from that video or I'm going to hope to try to get a CPA sale from that video, it makes no real sense to limit myself to just posting the video on YouTube. You know, there are a lot of other video platforms, and by just posting my videos on YouTube, I'm reducing the number of people that could possibly see my video. So that, that just doesn't make any sense. It's just not good business to only post to one platform. Now, the traditional thing to do would be to make multiple copies of your video, multiple versions of your video, and upload it to the multiple platforms all over the place, each with unique keywords, each with unique descriptions, and I don't do that myself because it takes forever and I don't want to do it. I mean, I know that it would be good for my business, but I don't do it just because, I mean, let's face it, we, we don't want to work any more than we have to, and uh, I don't want to do that work. So HydroVids is designed to let you create a video and then upload it to multiple platforms at once. Another thing it does, specifically with YouTube, is that it lets you upload the video to multiple YouTube accounts at once. Now, it does this by spinning the video and making the video unique. It actually changes the video a little bit, so that way it's not the exact same video, it's not the exact same video file, it's not the same description, and it's not the same title. So that way, to YouTube, it looks like a unique video. And why, by doing this, you can have more chances of people seeing your video. I mean, that's just the whole point of this software, to get your video in front of as many eyeballs as possible. And why is that good? Well, if you're trying to sell something with video marketing, you want as many people as possible to see your video, obviously. The last thing it does is it allows you to add social platforms. And then when you upload your video, you can choose one of the social platforms and HydroVids will automatically post a link to your video inside of that social platform for you. So for example, after I make this video, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And then I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to post a link to my YouTube video to try to get some traffic to the video. Uh, but HydroVids will automate that process for me. Okay, so here we are in the HydroVids software. And right from the door, I just want to get out the things that I don't like about this software. I just want to be upfront about them and point them out and get that out of the way. So the very first thing that I don't like about this software is the help. Uh, if you actually click on the help, you can see the only thing it has is an about us section. There's no link to the help inside of the software. There's no link to the support inside of the software. And anybody who has followed me knows that that is one of my particular pet peeves. Um, I think there could have been a link here that would take me over to the training and the help area. Uh, maybe even just open it up in my browser. I know that they are on a web-based place. Um, I think that would have been a lot better to have that. I don't understand why it doesn't. Um, that is a pet peeve of mine and I just wanted to get that out of the way. The second thing that I don't particularly like about this software is that it is Java software. Now it's not bad that it's Java. It's actually a good thing in a lot of ways because Java will run on any platform. It will run on a Windows or on a Mac machine. The thing that I don't like about it is that it's just run from the Java file. So you don't actually get like a start icon, you don't get a desktop icon or anything like that. You don't actually install the software. This is actually what's called running light in uh, the programming world. And uh, this runs light, which is a good thing as far as usage of your, your computer resources. 
but it's a bad thing because every time you want to run the software, you have to click your start menu. You got to find where you saved the the uh, software files, and you have to run it from inside of the Windows browser. You can't just click like a desktop icon and open it up. So I, I found that to be kind of a pain, and I kind of wish that it would have had you know an install feature and let me put a desktop icon so I can easily access the software. Okay, so with those things out of the way, let's get into the software itself. So the very first thing you're going to do after you load the software up and you're using it for the very first time is you're going to go up here to accounts and you're going to add your video and your social platforms. Now, I'm not going to show you this because it will actually show you my passwords, uh, but you can add your video and social platforms right here. Now, your video platforms, there are a ton of them. If you actually click on the right hand side here, you can see it is YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, Hitmission, Metacafe, Break.com, Flickr, and I don't even know what that last one is. I never heard of it. V-E-O-H. Uh, so there are several video platforms that you can add to this software. There's also several social platforms that you could add to this software. Uh, I actually added my Facebook account to it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a video. So you click on Add Videos and then you'll be able to add a video to the software that you've already recorded. Now this is the video that you're using to promote your CPA offer or your affiliate offer or whatever else you're trying to get people to see so that you can make some money. The second thing you're going to do is add your unique ending. Now a unique ending is just a graphic. So you'll upload this graphic and what will happen is is Hydro Video will put that unique ending at the end of the video and it will put it on for a random amount of time for each video so, so let's just say for example I'm gonna upload a call to action and that's gonna be my ending so my video plays and then it shows a call to action graphic that unique ending will show for a different amount of time for each video that HydroVids automatically creates and this way every one of the videos that you create look unique they're not the exact same video Realistically, to a person, they're going to be the same video, but to an algorithm, to a machine, like on YouTube and YouTube's detection algorithm, it does look like a unique video. So it's not exactly black hat, but it's just playing by the rules, but it's you know taking advantage of the way the rules are. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking advantage of the way the rules are as long as you don't actually break the rules. And that's what this does. It doesn't necessarily break the rules, but it does take advantage of the way the rules are and the limitation of the fact that YouTube detects unique videos uh, based on a computer program. So after I have all of that done, I'm just going to enter my title, my description, my tags, and all of my settings just like I normally would for a YouTube video if I was going to upload it to YouTube directly inside of YouTube. You're also going to notice, though, that this will actually take spin text. And spin text, for anybody that doesn't know, is for creating unique text. So, for example, I'm uploading the how to make videos cheap video tutorial that I did. And I can say here, how to make, and then I have spin text right here. So, cool, great, awesome. And then I have sales affiliate review and I continue on like that so what happens is each one of these videos that Hydro Video automatically creates will have its own unique title because it will randomly pick one of these words inside of the spin tax so first it'll say how to make cool and then it'll say how to make great and then it'll say how to make awesome and then it will actually use the spin tax in the second one so it'll give me every single combination of all those words and it will create unique titles and unique descriptions even though they actually mean the same thing to somebody reading them because different words mean the same thing in, in language to YouTube and to the other video hosting sites, they look like unique texts. They actually are unique texts. It's just using synonyms. If I don't want to manually enter my spin tax like I have right here, I could use one of these services, Spin Rewriter and Best Spinner. These are paid services though. If you have a membership to them, you can integrate automatically with these services. If you don't, you can just use the manual spin tax just like I have. I mean, honestly, this took me like 20 seconds to type the title and description. So it's really not a big deal. And it's going to create a lot of unique titles and descriptions for the multiple videos that I'm going to be uploading. So it's well worth doing it. It's a huge time saver, even if you have to manually type them in. Now, once I have all of that done, 
I can just click the submit button and this will upload to all of the YouTube accounts that I've associated with this. It will upload to all of the accounts that I have associated with all of these other networks and it's going to get my video out to tons of different places. I mean, it's obvious that this is way better than just posting to one YouTube account and hoping you get traffic because, I mean, that's just one place. By using this software, I'm able to get my video all over the place with unique titles, with unique descriptions, and I have multiple places where I can draw traffic from, not just one single YouTube account. So you can think of posting the traditional way to a single YouTube account and to a single video network like shooting a rifle. You have to be well aimed and you have to be perfect to hit the target. Well, with HydroVids, you don't actually have to be well-aimed and you don't have to be perfect because you're shooting with a shotgun. You're sending pellets out everywhere. The chances are that you're going to hit the target just because of the sheer odds, just because of the sheer number of places where your video is. So what do I think of Hydro Video? Well, first of all, I want to say that it's pretty obvious the way things are going that video marketing is where it's at. I mean, I could just write a text review for my blog, but here I am making a video anyway. Why? Because I know that video marketing works. So posting a video to YouTube obviously makes sense, but I think that when you do that, you're leaving out a lot of other potential traffic and a lot of other potential sales because there's a lot of other video networks besides YouTube. With HydroVid, you're going to be able to get your video all over the place very easily and very quickly, and it really doesn't take much thought to see the benefit. So while there are things about the software itself that I don't particularly like, um, I realize that a lot of those things may just be because I'm a developer and I'm really picky about software. But the concept and the functionality of HydroVids, it, it definitely brings a benefit to people. It doesn't take a genius to see how you're going to do way better with your video promotions by putting your video all over the place than just putting them on one YouTube account. So it's pretty obvious that HydroVids is well worth the purchase price. It's well worth investing in if you're interested in video marketing. In fact, it's probably worth investing in if you're interested in any kind of marketing because if you're doing any kind of online marketing and you're not using video, you're behind the times anyway. So I'm gonna say that this is worth picking up for anybody looking to do CPA ads, affiliate marketing, or selling their own products online.